Hi everyone, um, I just thought I'd pop by and um, do a quick little video. I've been, weirdly enough, asked again um, to have a video on how to do my baubles and one that didn't get so distracted by all the comments in the live video that we did um, on Cricut for Australians. So um, weirdly enough, I just thought I'd just throw a little one together for you. Um, so we're just going to glitter them just like this one here. Um, but yeah, weirdly enough, I actually have an order for nine baubles and it is currently June. Um, so maybe it's a Christmas in July theme or something that they're doing. I'm not sure. So forgive the crazy hair. This hot mess, um, has been busy all day in the craft room. So I just couldn't be bothered going out and getting prettified for a video. Sorry guys. Anyway. Um, I'll pop to it now. Alright guys, so, um, forgive my table if I happen to be shaky. Um, I have listed all of the supplies previously. Uh, so basically what we're doing, I just have some old cups here. Some of them have polycrylic stuff to the bottom of them from last year. Um, I might just do a couple at a time. This is just an old lid off a box, a gift box, that I'm just using to protect my surface a little bit. Um, the baubles that we use are just the Shatterproof baubles from Lingcraft. I believe you can get them from Wright as well, and there's a couple of buy-in places that have them too. So all we do is just unscrew the lids. And steady them on so I'm just gonna do just a couple of moments so my favorite tool if I can find it because I did have it right here where did I put my tool I love using just a medical syringe or an oral syringe so these you can get just from your chemist I think the 10 millimeter one cost me a dollar and the five millimeter one cost me 50 cents so I just have a stash of these um, in my craft room they're really good for anything that's sort of like paint or liquid anyway so all great now I'm going to use the polycrylic sorry I'm just knocking over my stuff here so I'm going to use a polycrylic that I purchased from Amazon um, back before the laws of GST came in um, but if you don't have access to the polycrylic uh, there are some supplies in Australia but if you can't find that in Australia you can use the um, Cabot's polyurethane which does pretty much the same job the thing is you need to make sure you get the water-based version and not the oil-based one so that's just one little trick to make sure you do so I'm just going to open up now you're not going to really be able to see or maybe I might be able to get the polyurethane in a little bit forgive me so all I do is take my syringe and pull back the polyurethane just give it a knock off here and I take it all the way down like here you probably can't tell but I take it all the way down the bottom because I don't want it to spurt so much that it will create bubbles and create bubbles will create inconsistency patches around your bauble so I just take it right to the bottom not all the way on it and I just push slowly and sometimes it's better not to have like it's better to have too much than not enough so I'll just put another half squirt in So I'll just get back in there. Alrighty, so that's one bauble down. I'll just repeat that process for the other baubles. This is the uh, boring part, watching me pop the poly, uh, polycrylic in. Obviously we want to try and avoid any bubbles. And it's also why I don't mind letting it sit there while I do other baubles because any bubbles that might have come out will have time to settle and pop 
so it won't be too much longer for this one. So just half in there, half in there. So I'm just going to start off with these three. Now I did get a little bit on the side here, so I just use a paper towel just to wipe that off. So now the process is I take my bauble. Sorry, my camera has the shakes. I keep knocking my table. So I just spin it so it coats it evenly. And when you get right to the end, instead of, I don't put it all back into the cup, I try and put some in. I dropped a little bit there. I try and put it all back into the tub um, before I let it drain properly. So... And then now it can drain into the cup. So once again, I spin it just to coat it. Don't shake, just do a slow spin. If you shake it, bubbles will appear and you'll get very inconsistent coverage as well as gaps left. So then I'll just spin the rest of it into the original tin. While it's doing that, um, come on, bubbles. And then my last one here, just spin it, get nice, even coverage before it drips out. Pop it in here. Now you'll probably already be able to see, I don't have a fast method for how long you should leave in between doing this part and putting the glitter in. The main reason for that is because your weather will determine it, plus how well you've stirred your polycrylic or your polyurethane. So this one here, still has a bit in there like you can see the top it's still there but I don't mind that because it'll still coat very well and I don't leave a large period of time in between because I don't want little bubbles to appear like you can see there's a bit of a bubble here so I'm gonna hope that I can get the polycrylic to run over the bubble just give me a moment. I'm just going to add a little bit of polyurethane just to cover that bubble. Not enough to really impact it. Come on, polyurethane. Or polycrylic, sorry. I didn't need a lot, but I just want to make sure that little dot is well covered. So they're pretty much on par. They're starting to get a little bit of bubbling happening. So I'm just going to start off on my first one. Now I'm going to do a purple one first. So I don't mind putting too much in. Like there's no for hard and fast rule about how much you have to put in. So you just tip your glitter in. I'm just going to use the paper towel and shake it. just to give a nice even coverage. If you haven't put enough glitter in, you can add some more later. And if there's any glitter left over in there, so you can hear a rattle, I will just take a funnel, just like this. These ones I think I just got from Big W, believe it or not. And not much actually came out of that. You'll see there's next to no glitter that came out of that. So I will probably just discard of that glitter because there's not much left. And then pop my lid on and my bauble is done. Let, that'll just dry. So the next one I'll do here is a dark pink. Now, because it doesn't come from one of those fine tubes from 
Lincraft. Uh, this glitter I probably purchased from Shaylin's Glitter. I'm just going to pour it in using the funnel. Just tap that. Give it a nice coating. Once again, give it the shakes. Make sure you've got all the bits. And then just shake it. Put the lid on that one. And then pop a lid on here. And that's another finished glittered bauble and that will just dry. There's little air vents here which still allow it to dry. So there's no issue there. And then we'll just do this one green just because I've got the green in front of me. So once again, just give it a nice shake. And then you've got your glitter container here and a funnel. And I just shake it in there till it appears that we've got all of the glitter out. Now, some glitters you'll find will stick to your funnel really, really easily and others won't. So in this case, I'm just going to use the brush just to push the glitter down into the tube as well. Oh, might help if my hands can do their job. And then we're done with that one. So from here, you just let them dry and you can add a decal with your Cricut with their name or anything else you want. Maybe it's their first Christmas as Mr. and Mrs. and you want to do something really nice. But yeah, from there you can um, design it how it be and give it a nice little bow. All right, guys, if there's anything else you want to find out, let me know. Bye.